my 50 seat room. And they moved me to the big room because they thought, Tony, otherwise up to 25 people would be walking around Edinburgh today disappointed. <laughs> we can't have that. We gotta get her done. So, uh, this is just me bantering. I haven't started the show. It's magical. So, uh, well, let's get the elephant out in the room out of the way. What about that weather? Oh, it's wet for a while, then it's all dry for a bit. I don't figure it. Done and done. Boy, all our business in London with the blah, 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 blah. finish the sort of it. But Tony, how are we going to know the show proper has begun? You'll know it because I'm going to telegraph that shit. Boy, what a day I've had today. That's right, I'm opening up old school. <laughs> I've had quite the day. No, I haven't. It's noon. It's fucking noon. <laughs> what kind of a day could I have had? This reminds me, what are you doing here? What's wrong with you people? It's lunchtime. There were no posters. At least none I approved of. <laughs> How did they find it? How did they find it? You've, you've made it through all of the hurdles I put in place. <laughs> You've made it. Welcome to our tiny crew. Welcome, you nuts. All right. I've had quite the day today. Some sort of day. First thing I did when I woke up this morning, dislocated my jaw. Got out my pet python, got him out there, swallowed him whole in one go. See how he likes it for a change. That's already happened. I made a conscious decision to open up with that routine. But Tony, that's a dangerous way to open your set. What with that bit being so shit and all. That was an artistic choice I made. Yeah. I know, because I'm dangerous. I'm one of those dangerous comedians. But you thought that as soon as I walked on stage, I could feel it. You were all just going, uh-oh, here comes trouble. This guy's dangerous. You can tell he's dangerous. Look at him. He's got hair like a pedophile. <laughs> a little joke about my appearance there. You know, I find that breaks the ice nicely with an audience. Well, he can laugh at himself. Let's sit back and enjoy what he has to say. <laughs> Still, it doesn't work. It doesn't really work, does it, the pedophile? This isn't a pedophile's hairstyle, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done the research. <laughs> Who would? That's a shit job. Hey, Dave, I'd like you to come up with a composite of the most popular pedophile hairstyles. Fuck off, I quit. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I haven't thought of the most popular pedophile hairstyles. I haven't, but if I had, right, and I haven't. If I had, I would have thought of pedophile, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here it comes. If I were <laughs> And I were gonna choose a hairstyle, I'd probably choose one like a banker's. <laughs> yeah, or say George Osborne, the Chancellor of the Exchequer. Oh. Tony, that's an interesting idea you're introducing there. Are you trying to say somehow that the bankers and George Osborne are the pedophiles and we as a society are the victims and all this? Well, no, no, I wasn't saying that. <laughs> rewarding for themselves. I'm not your guy. I'm the ideas guy. I drop the bombs. You take them across town. I can't go across town. I gotta stay over here with Tommy and all the socialists. I can't go over there. I kind of makes me depressed. I get ill. Too many boys in t-shirts noticing stuff. I can't handle it. See you later, W. I'm joking. I've got like eight more ideas. 